All right, next up we have Sadie Sullivan now from Coffee X Roasters out in Vancouver, Washington. If our judges could please make their way to the stage. And Sadie, it is all yours. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Are you guys all comfortable? Yeah. Music, please. And time. Good afternoon, judges. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Sadie, and since today I have the privilege of being here right in front of you, I would love to share a little bit more about my country, Mexico. I'm lighting a little bit of copal, which is an Asian incense used by pre-Hispanic cultures. After that, I'm gonna grind all of the pressure shots that I'll be using today, and then we will begin. Please, enjoy yourselves. My first memories of coffee are attached to instant coffee. Myself and most other Mexicans grow up drinking it, although we sport some of the world's sweetest, cleanest, and most balanced coffees. It wasn't until about four years ago that I discovered and I started to enjoy specialty coffee the way I do it now. I still remember the first time I tasted sweet and bright notes in a cup of coffee. And I will never forget the first time I tasted fruity notes in a cup of coffee from Mexico. The colors of Mexico are as bright as the communities that give life to it. Today, in these 15 minutes, you will connect with those communities. The four communities that gave life to the coffee that I have the privilege of serving you today are La Yerba, El Chocolón, 
el cuarenteño Anel Malinal, all from the state of Nayarit. Nayarit is a very tiny state in Western Mexico. It is the last place in the Northern Hemisphere that produces coffee. Because of the altitude, the cherries in Nayarit take longer to mature, allowing for the sugars to develop to the maximum. The coffee that you're enjoying today, it's a natural pea berry from the state of Nayarit. Please enjoy. Judges, please evaluate the crema. Stir three times. And after that, you can dispose of your little spoon in the little tiny glass that is being placed in front of you. Please enjoy. All right, let's give a big round of applause for Sadie's Espresso Course. The tasting notes in that cup are grapefruit, raw honey, creamy body mouthfeel, and a sweet and balanced aftertaste. It is not a secret that pea berries are simply a special. Normally, a bean comes two to a cherry flat against each other. But something really funny happens to about 5% of the world's coffee, and a bean is born a single child. Pea berries need to be hand sorted after picking and processing in order to be sold separately, the amount of labor as well as its rarity make them simply unique. But what makes this coffee even more special and that you are about to enjoy and you are enjoying already, it is that it is the very first ever natural lot and the very first ever exported from the state of Nayarit. For this meal course, I decided to freeze some milk in order to separate the fats and sugars from the water content. The result is going to be a creamier and sweeter cup. Please start enjoying as I'm serving it to you. The tasting notes in this cup are, enjoy, vanilla, creme brulee, sweet whip cream body mouthfeel, and an orange bitters aftertaste. Please enjoy.
Peace, enjoy. This coffee, it's a 25% Bourbon, a 30% Katura, 35% Mundo Novo, and 10% Katwai. Growth at 1,050 meters over sea level in volcanic soil. For my last and third course, I want to share with you one of Mexico's most popular cocktails, the Carajillo. Typically made out of espresso and liquor 43, which is a bright yellow liqueur with tasting notes of vanilla, and orange, among many others, as it says, to have 43 secret ingredients. I decided to create a simple syrup using a ratio of one to one, agave and water, in order to recreate the yellow color. I infuse this syrup with vanilla bean, the peel of a medium blood orange, of a medium lemon, and 50 cardamom seeds. I simmer everything for an hour. And once everything was medium temp, I remove all of the solids. Today, I'm serving you equal parts of syrup an espresso. Gonna be over the ice. One of my favorite parts about this drink, the Carajillo, besides its flavor, of course, is observing the separation of the colors. So, judges, please observe the separation, enjoy it. After that, you can go ahead and steer. The tasting notes in this cocktail are vanilla, caramelized sugar, custard-like mouthfeel, and a sweet creme brulee after taste with some blood orange. Please enjoy. Enjoy. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. Judges, thank you so much for allowing yourselves to connect with the Mexican communities today. It has been my privilege and an honor to serve you today. Gracias. Time. Let's give a big round of applause for Sadie Sullivan now of Cafe X Roasters in Vancouver, Washington. If you want to come right over here, Sadie. That was a very lovely routine. I always love enjoy hearing about uh, Mexican coffees being Mexican uh, myself. It's always just like 
such a breath of fresh air. Would you, uh, do you have anyone you would like to thank out in the audience or at home? Yeah, uh, my husband for uh, roasting amazing coffee for me through our same company. Uh, Kenny for the awesome coffee from Nayari. And uh, yeah, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Awesome. Let's give another big round of applause for Sadie Sullivan now from Coffee X Roasters out in Vancouver, Washington. All right, we're going to take a quick break with our sponsors and we'll be right back. It takes intention, passion, and excellence to set a hospitality experience apart from so many others. That's what we care most about doing. My name is Andrea Allen. I'm co-founder and operator of Onyx Coffee Lab, and I'm the 2020 U.S. Barista Champion. U.S. Barista Champion, Andrea Allen, Onyx Coffee Lab, Rogers, Arkansas. A high-quality experience creates ripples through the entire industry. We want to push everyone forward by 